Hey there, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about the news we got today. Well, a few days ago. So they revealed the rest of the Spider-Man Retro Wave. Looked like a couple new ideas. We got a new Electro, we got a new Moon Knight, Green Goblin, and a Daredevil. Oh my gosh. I need to get my hands on that Electro more than anything. I think Electro aftermarket prices are insane. It's like 80 or $90 for a single action figure. That's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. But I'm super excited for everyone else to get a Green Goblin and a Moon Knight. Me, of course, I seem to have gotten on the lucky end when I started collecting the Marvel Legends action figures and I got a Green Goblin and Moon Knight before these re-releases. So they've been happily just chilling on my shelf. The ones revealed, uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of the kind of original comic book colors for the Green Goblin, but I'm digging the all white Moon Knight. I do like that it comes with the, uh, the Green Goblin. It comes with a Norman Osborn head. How cool is that? And I like the fact that it, the head isn't the exact same as the original Green Goblin we got in the Sandman wave. The Daredevil? Super pumped on that one. That's another one of my gotta get it list. I like the armor look. The 90s Daredevil, you know, big shoulder pads look. I don't know what they were going for, but I dig it. I dig it a lot. And I think that the rest of the retro wave, like Gwen Stacy and that Spider-Man, I got to get my hands on those because the Spider-Man shelf needs a 90s animated Spider-Man. And I feel like he, I think he fits the bill pretty well. Now, if we could only get a J. Jonah Jameson figure again, that would complete the collection. It wouldn't, not really. But yeah, just thought I'd share my thoughts a little bit on that. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, both at The Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.